We've pretty much had next to nothing in terms of what's coming to Rust console within 2024 and today the 30th of January we were set to have the dev blog that would have apparent roadmap that people have been talking about. So today is the 30th of January, let's see what's in store. Wait, uh, what? Were they actually messing around? Is this why they were late? Because, because of messing around like this? So this dev blog that is coming up, it will be the 1st of 2024. And as well, it is one of the most eagerly awaited dev blogs that we've had come to Ross console because of the state of the game that is in right now and what we want to see that's going to be coming new to this year. Now, a roadmap is supposedly what's actually going to be implemented within this dev blog or what's going to feature. And we're going to be seeing the kind of map of what 2024 is going to look like in terms of updates from January up until, I guess, January or December for this year. Now, they've put a lot of pressure on their shoulders for this to have a bunch of things to talk about within this dev blog that they're gonna be releasing tomorrow. Now, we're unsure as to what time it's gonna drop. However, let me just paint out the picture of what they've done in the past. So, D11 is a UK-based company so they'll probably go, be going around the uk time which is gmt if you want to just convert that to what region you're in so going by uk time and when they usually upload their dev blogs which is anywhere between 3 p.m up until 6 p.m and obviously they can do it earlier or later it's up to them obviously but those are the patterns that we have to our disposal as to kind of guess at when this dev blog will be published now, to say there's a lot of things within this dev blog, again, they're putting pressure on their shoulders, but I'm kind of thinking what is going to be in this dev blog. Of course, we're going to be looking at the roadmap and looking at everything that hoping that we see within the next couple of months come to this game. Number one, what are the first two content updates? One being military based. We're pretty sure that could be mill tunnels, nothing confirmed. However, what else is there that is military based? And as well, something that someone said on Twitter that I actually think you know, it's a good idea that they could actually have this in the dev blog, and that's releasing Australian servers. When you think about it, the OCE community within this game has literally just been left in the dark. They've had to play on regions where they're probably playing at 100 ping. So for anyone suffering like this, I have a message to share to you. Ross Console is notorious for you rubber banding and lagging all over the game and having high ping. Today, I have the answer as to how you can lower your ping. It's called Gear Up Booster. Gear Up Booster is an app that optimizes connection issues for people who are suffering from bad infrastructure problems. You jump into a server and see 100 to 200 ping, Gear Up Booster will effectively lower your ping so you're able to play the server more freely. Not to mention it also keeps your internet connection stable. So for anyone that has been suffering with low ping on Rust console or Rust PC, especially on wipe day, I can't tell you how many times we've disconnected from the server because of lag issues. This is basically a lifeline I'm giving you to up your gaming experience and especially on wipe day to have the advantage over others. Very easy to navigate around, just one click of a button, but most importantly, it's safe. Professionals in the gaming industry, such as Maro use it, and it's not bannable, which is a bonus. Now here's the best bit, they've got something for us console users which is called Hyper Rev. Now if you're interested into Gear Up Booster, all the links relevant to them will be in the description. And if you do try out their product, I want to set a little challenge for you. What was your ping before using Gear Up Booster as opposed to your ping now using the product? Thank you to Gear Up Booster for sponsoring this video. So I do think this is actually a really good point that we should actually talk about. The Australian community, the OCE community, is a big part of Ross Console because they have servers that are kind of known in, let's say, the TikTok community of Ross Console, where loads of OCE players and teams just came together and basically played against each other. And of course, EU players went on their servers as well because some of them were that popping and popular. However, in recent times, it's pretty much been dead and I haven't really seen many OCE players. So bringing out Australian-based servers that they can obviously use and have good ping on, that will make that community come back, which will then have a lot of the players coming back to the community playing on the game. And I'm not going to lie, I actually don't understand as to how you don't have a EU region us region an oce region of course there's a reason for it but i've just never understood how you'd market the hell out of community servers coming to the game the most anticipated update to date for this game everyone's awaiting for it and wanting to purchase community servers and you don't even have your own region to play on it which just isolates a huge chunk of the community now i don't know whether this was down to d11 or g portal however g portal have more responsibility on this front because they are the ones hosting 
these servers. So we know Junkyard is coming to the game and we know something military based is coming to the game as well as hopefully we see something talking about the OCE community having their own dedicated servers so they can play the game with a better experience than they probably are playing now. Now I don't know why the dev blog wasn't released today like there could be a multitude of reasons as to why it wasn't released today whether something wasn't refined whether there was a lot of spelling mistakes which <laughs> I commented. And there's a lot of people just slating them saying can't even post the fucking dev vlog on time. It really is comical at this point. However, it kind of makes me think are they removing some stuff that they're actually not able to talk about in the dev vlog that would be coming up to the game? Are, are they behind on that front? Will they not be able to bring that certain thing to the game? Or have they conducted tests where they cannot bring that to the game for us to play on? It would be nice to see a combat update. You know, I'm, I'm one of the people that kind of wants a new recall for this game. I think there's no real point in the recall that we have right now. Of course, I like it. Don't get me wrong. I loved learning the recall, playing this game and trying to beat one another learning. It. however there's there's very little people that really learn it anymore let's be honest it'd just be nice to see a new recall that d11 makes so not the one that pc's got no right I, I, it's shit what they have is shit also what the fuck is the new update with pc rust like they've got metal detectors for god's sake that game is actually going to shit i cannot believe we are witnessing face punch ruin their you know their poster boy game so enough of pc that's just in the mud at the moment but I would just like to see a new recall that is both challenging, but also balanced in terms of, you know, players can learn it. It doesn't take hours on hours on hours. And to be honest with you, this one didn't take hours to learn. Of course, playing from the start of beta, the recall was different. We had the actual PC recall, but on a controller, then D11 numbed it down to what you would play on, obviously using a thumb and analog stick as opposed to a wrist and mouse. Also, I hope there's more performances that are mentioned in this dev vlog. And as well, God forbid if we ever had this in the dev blog, shit me, it would blow up if they spoke or even touched upon new gen only. Whilst yes, I think it should come, I think whole, it, I'm not saying it's the user's fault, but just the console itself that is old gen is holding the game back from evolving into a more refined version of the game, better performance, better graphics, and overall will take less time to create a better game in the long run because of you know not worrying about optimizing both consoles and how it will run on each of them i get it some people it's a touchy subject because they don't have the money for it i was also in that same boat let's say 10 years ago when i couldn't get the xbox one but i was literally forced to when i had the xbox 360 because they literally stopped doing games on that and the, as i always say the latest old gen is now coming up to 10 years old it's time to kind of start investing or saving for a new gen console if you can. Now, I wonder if they're going to actually talk about in terms of Twitch rival skins. Now, skins within PC are much more celebrated and are somewhat of a rarity because the skins in Rust console, the ones that were deemed quote unquote rare, basically just get regurgitated and then put back into the game in the store when I guess D11 just have no ideas. So they just put old skins back into the store. So the old skins are not really a rarity within the Rust console game. However, within PC, they also tailor skins towards content creators. And I asked for one just after I got banned and the answer from so many people was like, no, fuck off. But it would actually be really nice to see content creators get their own skin because it would kind of reward the community supporting that content creator and as well it's the company rewarding that content creator for promoting their game. Like within 2024 and for the past let's say five years content creators have been pretty much the number one factor driving sales, eyes and people playing on the game itself live viewers playing the game they've been pretty much the sole reason as to why people play other video games it's now completely changed from really good marketing unless you're rockstar their name obviously precedes themselves but content creators should get more than they're really given and ross console i do believe the people that promote this game that get people to play the game one in one shape or another should be rewarded in let's say a skin or their own item i just think that sort of thing would be really nice and to give back to the community in that sort of way now not to say that they haven't already tried it or they're not allowed because i do believe from when i did try and have the conversation about having a cnqr based skin that number one obviously <laughs> wasn't going to happen at the time but number two was that something to do with microsoft and sony bringing like 
custom skins for creators. I don't know if that was a problem at all, but for some reason, if my memory serves me well, that was a point that was brought up as to why they haven't done content creator skins just yet, or they're just waiting for other content creators to pop off. As when you think about it, there's only, let's say, five content creators on this platform, both YouTube and TikTok, that are really big. And I really, really hope we see bigger maps. This is something I've cried for for ages now, and I've spoken about that I'm getting bored of saying the same old shit. But I really hope we see bigger maps, even mentioned like name dropped within this dev vlog. Again, it's a roadmap, so it's foreseeing the future of this game. However, months down the line it is, I do not know. But all we know is that we're getting two content updates and obviously one military base. But yeah, as I said, I hope we see Australian servers come into the game. It'd be really nice to get the OCE community back. New recoil maybe, probably not prioritized within D11 at this moment in time because they have a lot to do in terms of bringing updates to the game and monuments but what things do you want to see within the game coming up from this dev blog tomorrow is going to be coming out 31st of january i'll be covering it straight off the bat when it comes out as always leave a comment down below to have a discussion subscribe if you're new around here leave a like on the video as it is hugely appreciated and helps out the channel and the video all my socials are in the description i'm pretty active on twitter now but obviously tiktok have been active since i started that's all from me guys see you in the next one